So I picked up the camera and I headed over to the New Media Lab. Um, it's just to the left. I think it's also called the List Visual Arts Center or where it's held at the very least. Um, and we're going to the personal robotics group here to film one of the grad students, Gorin, um, I don't remember his last name, um, answering one of the questions for Ask MIT. So I just finished filming um, at the Media Lab and it was really fun. We got to play around with robots. I saw Marina, who I live with, and it was really exciting to see her there. I knew she grew up in that lab, but didn't expect her to see her then. Um, and everything went well, so I'll have to edit that footage too. And it'll be my first time filming or editing B-roll. Um, so that'll be interesting. I was too busy doing the friendship thing to vlog after making milkshakes, but we had milkshakes and we watched the latest episode of Community because it comes out on Tuesday nights and for some reason we're all either willing to procrastinate work for 30 minutes um, or don't have anything pressing and so like four or five of us get together and watch Community, which is really nice. It's a really good show. Your right or your left? Ooh. That's struggle bus. Struggle us, struggle us, struggle us, wait, no! <laughs> delete it, delete it! What's that, you're showing? Delete it! Delete it, my toe bent! Your toe bent? What do you mean your toe bent? It bent while I was doing it! Sorry, okay, it would be like, it's actually really hard. I feel like you should have the thigh muscles for this, like kickboxing. Why? No, I haven't done it in years, in a week. This is the animation I've been working on most recently. Um, Took a while to figure out how to plan it. Basically, um, it's strand exchange where double stranded DNA starts weaving itself into a single stranded DNA. Um, I still have to do a little bit of tweaks, like especially in this area, like making sure the strand matches up, and then I'll have to do frame by frame. But other than that, it looks pretty nice right now, and I'm kind of proud. And now I'm doing some reading from my current debates in media CMS class. Um, it's about gamification, um, so trying to turn mundane tasks into games to encourage people to learn or do things. No, there's pornmichelle.com. Oh my god! We need to look at it. We need to look at it. Um, so on the pornmichelle.com, they have a like you, have to, you can click on like the link, mm -hmm. and it says watch Beyonce featuring Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland, but it's Michelle's it's song. Michelle. But at the same, same time, if your name, name is in the same yeah. sentence as Beyonce's name, all I'm saying is you've made it, man. Yeah. We're gonna drink. Why don't we gonna drink? Oh, because I have juice. Okay. Yeah, it's true or false. Right. So what the hell is the trend? Okay, so it's the output of the old key passed so, into the function it gives you. Okay. Right, and the output's either true or false. Okay, cool. Okay. So new keys well, is true or false. Is there, if it's is true, there a magnetic field like the service? Add yes, so there's both. Yeah. Tell me. Not I don't think. I'm not I mean, they might say the magnetic field goes through, but I don't think it does. A to the dictionary. Yeah, exactly. You're not appending as true and false. You're using the true and false to determine whether it you append the thing that you've got, you passed into the function to get true or false. Right. Okay, so I got that. So add it to the thing. Else, don't just throw it in. Mm -hmm. Case by case basis. Value of any key mm -hmm. is equal to the old value so divided by. It's kind of like how you can say like a equals a plus one on the right hand side, you're taking the old value of a. On the left hand side, you're reinitializing a. Is it the same? I realized that today it's been a week since I started vlogging. This is Vita Day 7. Um, it's been good so far. Uh, I think that whether it's a consequence of like me trying to focus more on mental health and happiness and things like that, or maybe even due to the vlogging and like sharing my life with people, but I've been focusing on spending more time with friends and like doing more things besides working all the time. Um, I still get my work done, I still have those late nights, but I think this month has been one of the best I've had in a long while. Um, at least I'm feeling more like myself.
which is good. As for the requests, I know I asked for them on the first day, and I haven't really addressed any of them, I've just kind of been making, making videos, but I have a list um, of things, and I will cover things like music in my classes. Maybe not today, because today's is already a little bit long, but um, I'll definitely talk about them. Maybe I'll start out tomorrow with like what my week looks like. I've been filming a lot of my friends, but I haven't been asking them to talk to the camera a lot. So maybe I'll start, now that they're more comfortable with me holding a cell phone around and like panning around the room, maybe they'll be more comfortable talking every once in a while to the camera as opposed to just like being in frame. On a separate note, my room is really cold because for some reason they had the bright idea to turn off all the heat in McGregor today. I think because they hoped it would be more spring-like weather, but these windows don't insulate very well and now my room is freezing. Thankfully I have a big blanket but urgh, it's just cold. Also, because why not, let's look at some statistics for the first week. Um, unsurprisingly, the first video has the most views, which is 396, and likes and comments and stuff. Five likes, two comments. Um, I re-uploaded that last night because someone commented that um, my... Adobe Premiere editing in the middle of the night had left a like still processing click here to analyze blue bar across the last like 10 seconds of the video that I didn't notice and so I re-uploaded it um, and now that only has 36 views I think um, but other than that it's kind of like decreases per day um, 396 to 156 to 114 87 63 57 um, so it looks like people are still watching but just like less frequently also probably because my blog post is dropping down, um, less people are clicking on it. So we'll see what happens when I um, bump it to the top. I can't really tell how the statistics change because these are really influenced by the admissions, like the Pi Day video. I don't know. One of my videos made it though, waiting for a decision day. Look at that. That has some like traction. People watch that. Um, even though Salam's video has more views, which is cool. Demographics. We're not at that goal in like 50-50 male-female ratio, although most of our views are from the United States, it seems like. Um, a lot of them are views are on an embedded player, probably because we embed them on the blog. Um, yeah. I guess here's the real-time data for my videos. I don't really know what to do with this. I mean, people are watching. Yep. <laughs> um, I guess these are like the different numbers of people that are watching at various times, which makes sense that there are more like, like I uploaded it 24 hours ago, so people who subscribed and are up will watch it then, and there's everyone's asleep then, but then they start waking up and start watching the video. Um, Apparently one of them's watching it now at 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> so that was fun. Probably not the most productive analytics section, but kind of cool. I'll check it out every week or so, see if there's any difference.